Allahu 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 Allah Allahu 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 Allah Allahu 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 Allah Allahu 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 Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Respected elders, my dear brothers and sisters, always we get this question, especially in the month of Ramadan, that is with regards to the taraweeh. There are two views in this regard. One, eight rakat taraweeh. Who has told this? Dr. Zakir Naik, Yasir Kazi, Sheikh Asi, and such scholars who has given this view that Taraweeh is only eight rakats. The other view is from the Sahaba Kiram Ridwanullah Ta'ala Alihim Ajma'in. As recorded in Bukhari Sharif, that Sayyiduna Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu ta'ala anhu commanded Hazrat Ubay ibn Ka'ab radiallahu ta'ala anhu to lead 20 rakat Taraweeh. Also Sayyiduna Imam Bayhaqi radiallahu ta'ala anhu narrates that Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu commanded to conduct 20 rakat. Again, it is recorded in Bayhaqi Sharif that Hazrat Sa'id bin Jubayr radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he also conducted 20 rakat Taraweeh. Likewise, there are 13 references given by Sayyiduna Imam Bayhaqi radiallahu ta'ala anhu with regards to the statements of Sahaba, Tabi'in, etc. who offered 20 rakats taraweeh. Now, Alhamdulillah, those who give this answer, 20 rakats taraweeh, they are giving the references from Hazrat Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anhu, who is a great Sahabi of Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who is the Khalifa of the Muslim. Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu, Khalifatul Muslim. Hazrat Ubay ibn Kaab radiallahu anhu, a great Sahabi again, and a great Hafil among the Sahaba. Hazrat Sayyiduna Imam Malik bin Anas radiallahu ta'ala anhu, one of the four Imams. Hazrat Sayyiduna Nafi' radiallahu ta'ala anhu, Hazrat Sayyiduna Waki radiallahu ta'ala anhu, Hazrat Sayyiduna Sa'id bin Jubayr radiallahu ta'ala anhu. So Alhamdulillah, we are giving references from those great scholars, pious predecessors, Sahaba, Tabi'in, Tabi'a Tabi'in, etc. Now, the decision is yours. Do you want to follow the path of Sahaba Kiram, Tabi'in, Tabi'a Tabi'in? Or do you want to follow Dr. Zakir Naik, Yasir Kazi, Sheikh Asim, and scholars of this era who utter such, saying Taraweeh is only eight rakats, whereas they have not given a single reference to say that Sahaba Kiram had ijma on this, that Taraweeh is only eight rakats. On the other hand, Taraweeh, 20 rakat, was conducted by Sahaba, and the Sahaba commanded other Sahaba to conduct 20 rakats. Also, Tabi'in, they did offer 20 rakats. Taba'a Tabi'in, they did offer 20 rakats. The great Imams, they did offer 20 rakats. Scholars like Sayyiduna Imam Bukhari radiallahu ta'ala anhu, narrating this on the matter of 20 rakats, they also accept 20 rakats. So now, it is up to us to follow the path of those who are among the Sahaba, Tabi'in, Taba'a Tabi'in and great scholars or to follow the path of the scholars of the 21st century. May Allah guide us on the path of the pious predecessors. Amen.